Hi guys, and welcome to Flynn's Net uh, DAS Perspective. Uh, I'm just going to go through these two steamers uh, here. Uh, probably like most dads out there, uh, you've been tasked with buying the kit that uh, mum doesn't want to do, so that's exactly what happened to me. Uh, so initially, we got this steamer and then we've got this one, but uh, I'm not going to tell you if one's good or one's bad, I'm just going to tell you sort of uh, what we found with them uh, and maybe assist your decision making process. So we had this one first. This is the Tommy Tipper Closer to Nature uh, Steriliser, electric one, which you plug in, doesn't need to go in a microwave. Um, it takes sort of five bottles. We actually use the, the man bottles, uh, not the Tommy Tippy ones that our little one didn't get on with the tea. So we use the man bottles, which we found work for her. But the electric steamers just say they do um, make things a lot easier for you. I, mean, I know some people prefer to, to have the things you put in the microwave, and I know some people prefer Milton, but for me, just something you can put bottles in, turn it on, walk away, and it's done in 10 minutes, that absolutely works. So for me, this is why we went for the electric steamers, just anything to try and make your life easier. So this is the first thing we went for, this is the Tommy Tippy Closer to Nature steamer. Uh, it sort of breaks down into sort of four parts, as you can see. Um, uh, so you can stack them up, put the bottles in, and once you've taken the bottles apart, uh, pop them in, whatever you want to do, then build it up. Um, <clears throat> what you do is, is you put some water in the bottom here, and uh, it sort of just goes in the bottom. Uh, put the bottles in, so to speak, this bottle breaks down, pop it in like so, something like that, and then put it on and turn it on, as simple as that. Uh, it takes about five bottles, uh, about this size. These are quite large bottles, which I'll let them use. Is, I think it's 260ml, uh, uh, these ones. Um, we had this one for uh, five months. I'm using it about twice a day. Um, and it actually broke um, only the other day, actually. Um, what we noticed that was the, uh, the steaming cycle was getting shorter, um, and then it just packed up. Um, Tommy Tippy Custom Service wasn't too bad to be honest, um, even though it did take um, a, a bit of toing and throwing, but, um, but they did uh, acknowledge that there was an issue with it and they were going to change it. However, because we bought this one on Amazon, they referred us back to Amazon to deal with it with them. So Amazon had given us a refund uh, on this one. Uh, one of the key things which Tommy Tippy did talk about was this heat plate on the bottom here. Um, they wanted pictures of it to make sure we cleaned it um, through the uh, the descaling de process, you, you just put a bit of vinegar on and leave it to soak for a little bit. But I would strongly recommend using filtered water with these, it just prevents um, too much line scale build up and it makes life uh, a lot easier. Um, so that was that one. I then looked at getting another one of these. I don't think this exact model is made anymore, there's a, a slightly different one. So I looked at something that we could try and get which was a bit bigger, uh, and I went for this one, the, the Philips Avent here. Uh, and I think this is what they call the three in one, I think this one. Uh, and the reason being is it, is it breaks down uh, into sort of three uh, different modes, I suppose, effectively, which you can sterilize. So you could just do uh, a small one there if you wanted to, drop that one off, uh, or you can do a big one. And I'll show you what the difference is with these. Personally, I prefer this one. Uh, and the reason being is it's just so less fiddly to do anything with. Um, I mean, if you want to come and have a look, the, this is great. I mean, this just sits on top. That takes exactly 100 ml of water in there, um, and you can just pop these in. You just chuck them in, and it's so less fiddly than this one. You can just pop things in. You know, there's loads of room in there. You can easily fit six bottles in there, probably a few more, to be honest. Uh, that goes on top, and you can just literally throw your bits in really, really simply. Um, and you've got to mess around where well, I found with this one, you have to sort of stack and be quite precise where that you just chuck it in and it's really, really simple. Oh, we've only had this one a few days, but if I'm honest, I prefer this. Uh, the steaming cycle seems a bit longer, uh, which is a good thing, um, and it pretty much um, does what it says on the tin. You just throw all the bottles in, turn it on, and it's really, really simple. Um, so yeah, these are these two steamers which we've used. Um, I personally prefer this one, although I guess it's personal preference, but if you want something which is just ease of use, uh, less fiddling and appears not to break, uh, I'd go with this one. Um, <clears throat> but, but yeah, we'll do another video where we'll actually show you through the actual usage of these, and we'll show breaking down the bottles, cleaning, all that sort of thing. But uh, from a DAS perspective, yeah, here's the two seamers that we've used, and I do prefer this one.